Today's topic is safflower seed. Safflower seed is a, a, a seed that it may it generates tons of questions and also d divides feelings with people who have tried it and who feed from it and feed it. I remember when I uh, took over the store, bought the store back in uh, 20 years ago, I remember people coming in and going, oh, nothing eats that safflower seed, nothing eats that safflower seed. Um, and we, you know, I know John, the previous owner, said, boy, we don't sell very much of that. It is the, now the number two selling bag of bird seed in my store. So what has changed in 20 years? Well, hopefully it's a lot to do with education. And that is uh, safflower seed, we used to call it the problem solving seed because it was famous or it is famous as much for what doesn't eat it as what does, does eat the seed. Um, and, and so it's helped a lot of people to be able to feed birds in settings in which they otherwise were getting frustrated and they just couldn't feed. Food. The number one creature that doesn't like safflower uh, are squirrels. Now, somebody's going to say, but hey, squirrels in my yard will eat it. Yes, there are some squirrels that will eat a little bit of it, but if you watch it, there are very few squirrels that will ever sit there and eat neat on it. A lot of times they'll take a bite or two and then they'll jump off. If there's anything available else too available to them, they will not eat the, the safflower seed. They don't like the taste of it. The other birds that don't like the safflower seed are the grackle, the, the big long-tailed blackbirds, they hate safflower seed. And in the spring, when those birds really return, and there are lots and lots of grackles in your yard just to consuming your sunflower seed and your boardwalk blend and different things, they, they can be very frustrating. Safflower seed is a, the anti-blackbird seed to offer up. But there are ways to go about it. And that's when I said at the beginning, a lot of it has to do with education uh, because sometimes uh, you know, when people buy a bag of safflower and they just mix it in with their other seeds and, and they go, oh, look, they've picked out the sunflower and the peanuts and the, the safflower is left. Well, of course, I mean, if you give a kid a choice between pizza, uh, Brussels sprouts and french fries, what's going to be left on their plate? You know, the Brussels sprouts are going to be left generally. And that's how it is in, in sapphire seed for a lot of birds, especially the, the pesty birds, as we call them. Um, the house sparrows don't like it. Starlings don't like it. Uh, grackle don't like it. And they are the ones that will just ravage your other seed. They're, and if you mix it and you put it in a situation like that, sure, they're going to pick through and pick out those sunflowers. Even now, now even great birds like chickadees and, and titmice, they like safflower seed, but it has a much harder shell on it, a harder coat, and it makes it harder for smaller birds to be able to crack it open. So if a, if a chickadee can grab a black oil sunflower seed, which he can crack open fairly easily, versus a safflower seed that takes more energy, then they're going to pick that too. So for people who need to feed safflower, who should feed it, are the people that have very treed yards and they, they and it's very hard to baffle their 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 bird feeders and to keep the squirrels out and, and, and of course in the spring whenever we talk about those blackbirds. The important thing is you have to put safflower in a feeder by itself. Now safflower looks like a little white sunflower seed and it but when you put that by itself in a tray feeder like in the video and my producer is going to turn the camera around it can show you the the the, can't, the television going there with the you've probably seen it you've been in our store and, and i've posted this video before that open tray on the deck has nothing but straight safflower seed in it and the cardinals are on that almost the entire video they love it every so often the chickadee runs in there and grabs a, a one and takes it off now uh, talking about those chickadees and titmice, you, the, the difference for them is they have to crack the seed open with their bill via hammering it. So the, you'll see the chickadees and the titmice and the white breast and nuthatches eat it, but they'll take one seed, take it over, put it between their feet and crack it, and then they'll get the heart of it out there and eat the, the safflower seed. And sometimes that's the reason why people think that they're 
they don't like it, but they do like it. They're, they're, it's, it's a very nutritional seed for them. And so they do it, but cardinals love it. Uh, Rose-breasted grosbeaks in the spring love it. House finches, purple finches love it. Uh, morning dove is among their favorite food. Now remember, a morning dove doesn't crack open a seed anyways. Here, they're the vacuum cleaners. They just swallow the seed whole, and then they crack it in, in, internally in their crawl, and they, they're able to digest that. So they, it's a favorite seed of theirs. I always used to say at our house, where we used to live uh, over outside of Liberty, I was talking about the, the boardwalk blend when I would put it at, if a flock of doves landed in the big open tray that it was in there, then the next time I looked out there, it would almost be solid black. All they would, was left was a sunflower seed. Whereas if it were you know, a lot of the other birds coming, you look out there and it would get whiter. Uh, but the, so the normal morning dust would pick out that safflower, and that's why I like to offer a diverse seed mix. Like, like in my case where I could baffle my feeders and I could keep the squirrels out, then, then a mixture of sunflower, safflower, and penis is, is, is a premium mix and it's a great way to go. But those who have to battle those circumstances, like I said, in the spring when the blackbirds get here, they hate the safflower. But if you put a little bit of sunflower in, in that safflower, those blackbirds will throw all of it on the ground trying to find that one sunflower seed that might be in there because they hate safflower seed. Yes, it is very, very nutritious for birds. But the thing here's a, a whenever the concern was raised many years ago about the the seed coat being so hard and other birds like goldfinches don't stand a chance they cannot open a safflower seed they can't feed on it well the growers of safflower created a hybrid seed called nutrasaf or golden safflower and that's what I put in my boardwalk blend now. It's because it, it, it's basically the same seed without that hard seed coat on it. And according to nutritional value studies, it has about 30% more energy and nutritional value to the birds than regular safflower. Now we really like it. And we, you know, like I said, that's why I put it in my boardwalk blend. Gold, I have seen my goldfinches eat it. The problem is this year, and this is, if you're watching this, it depends on when you're watching this, this is January of 2022. They had a very dry growing season on Nutrisaf, and unfortunately, Nutrisaf is going to be hard to get here before long this year until the next harvest comes in. But we always we try to always have Nutrisaf, and we do sell it. It's picked up in popularity for sure of the, over the years. So I find that it dissuades the blackbirds still. Um, in some yards, I know Ruth said in her yard, it seemed like the blackbirds were eating it like they can. So, but Nutrisaf and Safflower, it is great quality seed. Uh, it, and again, a lot of it has to do with how you present it and also the birds that you've got used to coming to your yards. If you're a new to bird feeding and all you have fed is grocery store, I call them, um, junk blends with lots of waste seeds like milo and cracked corn and lots of millet and things like that in it, you've probably got an audience of mainly blackbirds and sparrows. And if you try to offer uh, safflower up in that situation, you're not going to get much attention because those birds really hate the safflower seed. So uh, if you want good quality birds, you have to feed good quality seeds. So it's a great idea for a program. Thanks for that. Send in more ideas if you will. Give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And until then, come by. Let's talk birds.